all right everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm bringing you another albion online video it's been a hot minute um there's reasons behind that but we're not gonna really well right into that but i am bringing you a fire staff build and i hope you guys enjoy let's get right into it all right so here's the build we are going to be running the cleric cowl cleric robe hunter shoes marlock cape tome of spells and of course the fire staff so uh, i probably went through that really fast but if you didn't see third ability first passive third ability first passive second ability second passive and with the fire staff you're going to run first ability first slot second ability second slot and then first passive this is going to change and it's going to be very you know varied through fight to fight so you do have to inspect your opponent uh firewall is going to be for your close ranged engagements so you know swords and daggers and then you're going to want to op optional but i always do it is swap it out for the fourth ability which is the fireball so that way you can do damage at distance it really throws off any bow users and really starts you know making them freak out and stuff and allows you to get closer and do the damage necessary fortunately these you know 13 meters 11 meters so you really don't have to get too close but this allows you to throw off the entire balance of the fight and get them a little disheveled also you're going to want to run poison potions you can also swap these out for resistance potions if you're having issues you know with staying alive um, i know most builds can do extreme damage and if you don't have high spec this build really really does not like perform very well um that's why i'm running a 5.2 here because i hardly have any spec but this build works fantastic nonetheless um i also opt for the pork omelet because it reduces cast times and cast times are very important especially with your q not having any cooldown it allows you to spam this as much as you can possibly do with your cast times this brings your cast time down to less than a second so you can spam your q multiple times all right so here's the example so pretty much when you go into any engagement you want to try your best to get your e off first it's going to be your big damage heavy hitter and you'll spam your q while you're at it and if at any point you see so, you know the, the guy with the dagger just start pushing towards you and starts closing distance what you're going to do is drop your wall and it'll push them away and pretty much you'll just spam Qs until your E comes back up. And then you'll hit them with your E repeatedly. And if at any point you're taking excessive damage, you do hit your R. And I would say say you get about 75% of your health. Hit your R, which is a shield. It'll mitigate damage for about 3 seconds. And at any point you start taking severe damage, like your health starts going down and you're waiting on cooldowns or something like that, you hit D. You ice block you wait for your cooldowns you continue so pretty much at any point you know you get like 50 25 percent health you know you're about to win the fight you know your cooldowns are down you ice block and like right when your cooldowns come up you know instantly firewall so we can't get close to you e q finish the fight and you know like i said swap this out with the fireball it'll allow you to shoot long range so you can take out opponents such as bows and what is that one 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 bow thing the double bolt casters bolt casters yeah it helps you take out bolt casters so you know you just do that disheveled they completely lose it because they're taking damage from a distance when they thought that they could easily take you out all right let's go ahead and jump into some yellow zone scripted dungeons because you know i don't have experience with uh much experience with this build just due to the fact that i don't have any spec um but it is strong overall so i will be jumping it's more dungeon that's showing you exactly how this build works so let's go ahead and jump into it okay and there he is he's coming right to me i just realized he's a uh, axe so we're just gonna switch uh, abilities I was getting ready to attack him, and then I realized fireball. I'm gonna keep this guy far away from me the best I possibly can. Oh, 
He really doesn't seem like he wants to fight. He's got the usual, just gotta stay out of his range. Come on, mate. What you doing? You don't wanna fight? <laughs> and they always go running easy let's jump into the next one also just so you guys are aware i always leave fireball on just in case the invader or the person you're attacking is a bow user because the reasoning for that is like they can shoot from a longer distance so you know they can engage the fight way sooner so having that on you know allows you to go ahead and start the engagement unlike with melee characters or builds that use daggers or you know uh swords where you have time to space yourself and switch the ability so just so you're aware you know that's what i do i that's what i suggest you guys do as well okay here he is running right for me uh-oh So since he full blown rushed me, I didn't have time to fucking change my abilities, which is all right. We're just gonna space ourselves here, get some distance. Ah. Well, that was unfortunate because he ran right to us and I didn't have time to search my abilities, but I mean, we're just going to jump into a new one. It's fine. All right. So we've invaded someone. We're currently going to go find him. Um, and hopefully this time I don't get bum rushed and I have the time to uh, search my abilities. Uh, mistake was on my end there was uh, not hitting my boots and running and trying to swap abilities uh you know whenever someone starts running towards you sprinting like that it's typically a dagger player who's just trying to get in kill you know what i mean they've got some high spec high tiered weapon stuff so you know you definitely want to try to space it out so this is going to be a spear guy i'm going to swap over to firewall got six seconds uh also did not come in here with an extra omelet so you know i don't have the extra cast time decrease you know and the, the cool down timer so that's unfortunate but we're going to be doing this at a larger than normal rate Are you going bucko no he's running he's fucking running mate he's gonna try to reset i can't let this happen there we go keep him burning keep him burning i got six seconds before i can get up in there and obliterate him oh let's go let's go the mob's got him for me fucking get it all right we're gonna do one more all right be there See what he's got. Cursed staff. Okay, so we got ranged. Oh boy, this is gonna be a difficult one. I have no poisons. Um, I have no fucking food. I'm at a huge disadvantage here, but I mean, we're gonna fucking go for it. Oof. Okay. Wait, what? 
What? My R didn't go off. What the fuck? Okay, well. I guess my shield didn't go off. I was hitting it and it wouldn't. Okay, well, I mean, that is what it is, I suppose. But, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. I should not have lost that fight. I. Okay, it took me like five seconds to get it to pop there, but I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I literally smacked this button like five freaking times, but anyways, that's going to be it, folks. All right, that's going to be the build, uh, pretty much how to use it. Uh, I haven't played in like over a month, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are expecting anything good from me. I, that was just, that was, that wasn't that great, but I mean, unfortunate that my shield did not proc there, should have proc because I easily could have won that fight. I mean, he literally stood no chance. I don't know what it was. I was spamming R and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. But anyways, um, I do appreciate every single one of you for tuning in the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Or, I mean, subscribe, like, if you enjoyed the content. Jeez Louise, I haven't done this in a hot minute. Uh, and comment what you want to see next. Uh, I always look in the comments to, you know, for some video ideas uh, on what you guys want to see next. So, you know. Just comment down below what you liked and uh, what you'd like to see next. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content, my bad. <laughs> and subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.